Hey guys, it's Tia. Welcome to the video. Today I want to show you a really awesome research tool that's completely free. It's updated every day and I've been using this tool recently. I'm just in absolute disbelief at how useful this tool is. Um, if you're wondering, I've not been paid to say this, it's completely free anyway, but uh, that is my genuine opinion of this tool. Like I said in my video about Etsy Hunt, which is a free tool for Etsy, it's one of those tools that you just can't believe is free because it shows you premium stats. And if you don't want to invest in a paid tool like Bubble Scout, which is still really useful because it actually estimates how much a certain design is selling for you. Um, I've got a discount code in the description, but if you're not making sales yet, it's best to start off with a free research tool, uh, in my opinion. Now, in past videos and uh, in my niche research tool, which is uh, in the Redbubble playlist that I've got below in the description, I use uh, a tool called Bubble Trends. So that is this tool here. And what this does, it just shows you the uh, trends of the day. So which keywords are trending on Redbubble and the number of results um, in this column here. So, so this was the old research tool I was using. And what these uh, keywords are here is if you go to the Redbubble search engine and you type in a letter, say like D, um, you've got all these words which are trending, which means that a lot of people are searching for them. So you're likely to get high traffic for them. And if we go uh, back to Bubble Trends, what this does is it just collects um, all these trends here. So for example, we had uh, Sky's Toast, Dog Mum. So here they've just collected all those trending keywords for us. And as you'll probably guess, these are not all the keywords that are trending, okay? Bubble Trends used to be completely free, uh, but it's now come up with a, a pro plan. To be fair, it's $14.99 a year, uh, which is literally nothing, but that is something that they have introduced now. And it gives you access to 500 plus trending keywords, okay? But on the other hand, this tool is completely free, so 100% free, there's no uh, pro plan or anything like that. And it gives you a full range of 10,000 uh, or so keywords to choose from. And as you can see, there's a lot more filters. Um, I really wanted to show you this tool for a long time because I just couldn't believe it when I saw it. This basically just, like if you've seen my niche research video, um, I have to literally manually type in all the keywords and the competition, um, but this just does everything for me. So I don't even really need to use Notion anymore. Um, so basically what this does, let me show you the features. So you can search for any type of keywords here and you've got the um, popular categories. Well, actually you've got all the categories of uh, items here so you can filter by that if you like and then the first filter we've got is the rank filter so number one is the first most searched keyword on redbubble which is uh, unsurprisingly hydro so people always look for hydro stickers and stuff like that on redbubble second is valentine's day okay so they've got ten thousand of the most searched keywords and you can filter like this so you can um actually decrease the filter and then this will show you the first 985. Okay, so we've got the most popular keywords here and then here is what we're really interested in. So this is the trend filter. So the bigger the green number is, the more trending it is. And if we move the slider like this, the keywords that are the most trending. So um, we've got, if we just extend the full range here, um, we've got 17 keywords which have the biggest trend score on Redbubble right now um, and this is updated every day remember so then we have a max competition filter um, so if we slide this we can see all the keywords which don't have that m many results um, I wouldn't just go off of this I would actually click on it and then go to uh, the result here because it might be a little bit different um, even though it does update every single day it still takes time to uh, actually update on this website so I would always check, um, but it is reasonably accurate. And yeah, so this tool is called Bubble Spider. And the last filter we have is a trademark score. So if you remember from my uh, niche research video, if you've watched that, um, I have to go online and actually check uh, on trademarkia.com and actually check the trademark. But here they've just got everything for you. So um, you probably want to untick this one because that's the uh, untrademarked things, right? And then you can just leave these two, um, but I wouldn't just go off of this. I would still trademark check um, and just Google the keywords quickly just to see that it's not the name of a company or something because um, it's always best to double check, especially since they have uh, you know names of famous people and stuff still approved for trademark here. But overall, I think it's um, it's better than nothing. 
And yeah, so that is definitely a very useful feature. A trademark is something that you've got to be aware of when uploading to print on demand sites, because if you use trademark keywords or designs, then they could take your design down and you could get suspended if you do it too many times. Okay, so let me show you how I would use this to decide on exactly which keywords to uh, design for for the day. So uh, I would leave these two columns first. They're fine. Um, it doesn't really matter what products you're designing for. And then I would slide the rank filter back to about a thousand or close to a thousand. Um, so we know that these keywords are being searched for in high volume. And then I would slide the trend filter to um, something above zero. It doesn't really matter to be honest, just uh, the, the more trending, the better. But if you slide it too far, then you won't get that many keywords. So I would leave it at zero and then um, keep on sliding depending on the results I get. Um, that's close enough. So. And then I would turn on max competition and I actually never make designs with keywords more than a thousand. And uh, I would say 500 is best, but since we have a slider here, we can actually um, go as far as we want. So let's say 500. Okay, that's close enough. Um, and then I would untick these boxes and there we go. There's a list of keywords. So we can actually, uh, if you care about the trends more, you can sort it by trends, but I would definitely do um, competition first. So this is the lowest competition to the highest competition. Have a list of keywords just like that, which would be the best to design for for the day. So um, obviously you've got to double check these for um, trademark. And if you want, you can slide this back um, or you can increase the rank. I would actually, yeah, I, I think focusing on trends is better. So I would slide this further and slide this more back. Those would probably be my keywords. So yeah, it depends on what you sort of value, what you think is important. Um, but nevertheless, you have these things at your fingertips and you can decide based on what you, uh, what metrics you value, which keywords you want to design for. There's no more entering things on spreadsheets, uh, sorting numbers on spreadsheets, that kind of thing. Um, even trademark is taken care of to a certain degree. So, so yeah, that is a really amazing tool. I will leave a link in the description and you can check it out for yourself. If you've seen my niche research tutorial, this tool is basically exactly what I was doing with my spreadsheet in that video, um, but without actually entering the numbers. So the only thing it doesn't do is show you uh, how much of one design is selling, but that's what Bubble Scout is for. And if you use these tools together, then you will literally be unstoppable. You will get all the best niches uh, when it comes to Redbubble. Okay, so again, uh, for the rest of the video, I'll just be answering some questions from my uh, previous Redbubble videos. I appreciate it's only been a day since the last one, so there might not be that many, um, but that's fine. I'll just do it like this from now because answering them as I go along, because um, I can't really make a separate video for every question, even though I wish I could. Uh, but if you've got any questions, just pop them down in the comments and I'll try to get to them in due course, okay? Okay, so first question from uh, Bro, how do you do it? F sales from Australia. Okay, so Redbubble is an Australian company, so it's not really surprising that a lot of my sales come from Australia. Um, but the way that I do research actually gets me a lot of keywords that uh, are sort of related to Australia, um, probably because... Uh, again, Redbubble is an Australian company. So unsurprisingly, I would get a lot of uh, customers from Australia, if that makes sense. So um, it's not really the fact that I'm doing research specifically for Australian customers. It's just that when I do research, a lot of the keywords happen to be uh, related to Australian things. Is it real that you can make sales on Redbubble? Because apparently no one buys from it. Well, um, if you haven't seen my results, then I've got a, a link down below uh, to a playlist, which um, I talk a lot about what how much I made in my first year. And you can see for yourself um, that I am definitely making sales from it. A lot of other people are as well. It does feel like no one's heard of this website. Um, even Australian people don't know that it exists sometimes. They get a lot of their traffic from Google advertising. So it's mostly um, when people make designs on Redbubble, their images and things get put onto Google images um, or in the search. And then random people on the internet see that and click through to Redbubble. It's not necessarily that they're going on Redbubble in the first place to buy stuff. Um, they just see it from the ad and they don't even like notice what website they're buying from. Um, so that is probably why you've never heard of it. And to be fair, there are more people going to buy stickers now and their revenue is increasing. So uh, if I show you the annual Redbubble reports, uh, this is, you can find this information in their investor um, center. So their marketplace revenue um, this number is in millions of dollars, is increasing every year. So uh, this is the 2020 report. 
and you can see that it's just gradually increased. These are the numbers uh, for including 2021 as well. So you can see that every year, um, despite the competition increasing and a lot more sellers getting on it, uh, the number of customers and the number of uh, transactions and people buying stuff is greatly increasing, um, probably more so than the supply. Um, so the demand side of things is still good and there's really no reason um, that it, the company would do worse the next year. So these are all promising results for the company. Now, I actually have a Chrome extension uh, which helps you see what traffic rank a website has. And here you can see that it's really not bad traffic. Um, it has seemed to decrease a bit, but the Alexa rank is 875 in the US. Um, it's 924 overall okay and you can't actually know how much traffic a website gets just from the alexa rank but you can estimate it um, with this website i think it would be fairly accurate um, at least to like the thousands and if we type in um, what was that 924 into this website we get this many visitors on redbubble every single day okay and that is not uh, a negligible number of people that's like half a million every single day so it does have visitors and you can be confident that people will be seeing your designs if you use keywords which rank highly and are in high demand okay uh, can i see your designs well i do have a, a video in my playlist which shows you the designs that i had uh, last year my best selling designs so the top three niches that were selling for me in 2020 they have changed since last year um so i'm selling in a completely different set of niches now um, but those were selling well for me before and i do give examples of um, designs which were similar to what i designed now i'm afraid i can't give you my entire business uh, and my shop and all my designs because then everyone would just go and copy them and make their own money from them so um I'm sorry about that, uh, but I do have videos on how I find the keywords that sell for me and how I do the designing as well. So hopefully that's enough for you. I can't just show my entire business on YouTube because everyone would just steal the designs, um, if that makes sense. So yeah, um, hopefully you find the videos helpful anyway. Um, so that's it for this video. Just wanted to show you that amazing free tool. It's called Bubble Spider. I will have a link in the description. Do take advantage of it. And uh, I was actually in contact with the developer of this tool and he's coming out with a lot more exciting tools. So I'll definitely share those with you guys when I find out about them. That's it for this video. Do drop a like and subscribe if you found it useful. When we get to 10K subscribers, I will have a surprise for you guys. All the social links uh, and the website in the description, as well as uh, links to tools that you might find helpful as always. And I will see you in the next video.